In this video, I'm going to do a Solar Edge battery review. I believe right now, given the market, the Solar Edge battery is the best option given the entire scope of what customers find valuable in a solar system. The three most important things that I think a customer wants is going to be monitoring so that they're going to want the solar and the battery all in one app. They're going to want the per panel production monitoring so you can see each individual panel and they're going to want each panel to be independent and not be affected by the entire circuit. And the only batteries on the market currently that solve those issues is in phase and solar edge in phase is a micro inverter option and solar edge is an optimizer option that's dc coupled the reason i don't like in phase instead of solar edge is because it's ac coupled and has a multiple conversion penalty for using their battery so i think solar edge is the number one option because of that reason i'm going to dive into a little more details about solar edge the self-consumption option for solar edge is fantastic because it's kind of like a plug and play they have what's called energy hub inverters that have a battery input so you can connect the battery dc directly to the solar edge inverter and what's awesome about that is when the inverter or the solar system is producing and the inverter is taking in power it can decide whether to send it to the home or send it to the battery before it inverts it with Enphase or franklin or other ac coupled batteries it's going to always convert it and then send it to the home and if the home is taken care of then it's going to convert it back to dc and put it in the battery and that's not real efficient for the homeowner especially when they're doing cycles every single day where they're discharging every day and then recharging every day it really hurts them on the efficiency standpoint. That's why I like Solar Edge as the DC coupled solution. The other DC coupled solution is Tesla, but you're not going to have the optimization that Solar Edge provides because they don't have optimizers per panel. So if one of their panels gets shaded throughout the year, it's going to affect the entire circuit, kind of like Christmas lights in a string. So again, I think Solar Edge is the option. Solar Edge has backup solutions where you can add a backup interface to make it to where you now have backup capabilities with the system. But I would say 90% of our systems are going to be self-consumption, solar and a battery, and they're just going to be charging and discharging every single day. So that is typically all you're going to be providing to the homeowner. The other really awesome thing about Solar Edge is is the app capabilities. They're gonna show you exactly how much the battery percentage is, how much the home used from the grid versus how much came from the solar system and the battery. They're also going to show you the production daily, weekly, monthly, yearly of the solar system, and it's all going to be in one app. And see, that is something that's very, very important because most of the systems out there that are coming out, they're only providing the battery monitoring and the solar is separate. So with Q cells, with Franklin, with Tesla, all of those are providing solar production, but they're only showing what the inverter is producing. They're not actually breaking down to the per panel level, which is what most people want to see. If one of the panels gets affected or stops producing, or there's some type of issue with just one panel, you want to be able to see it because then we can go in and immediately fix that problem. Panels don't fail very often, but the more transparency, the better for the customer. So given the entire scope of where the market is at and what is most important to people right now in the NEM 3.0 environment, I believe that Solar Edge is going to be the leading battery in the future because it's DC coupled, it has the optimizers, it has the solar production and battery percentage production and charge and discharge all in one app. And it's going to provide the best overall user experience for the customer and the lowest true up bill at the end because it's the most efficient. And when you're sizing your battery, you always want to size it two to one ratio. So if you have an eight kilowatt system, probably going to size it to 16 kilowatt hours and above for the storage. Or if you have a 10, you're going to size a 20. You always want to be doing about a two to one ratio. That's that's what we're seeing is the best size for the batteries. Hope this video was super helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video.